Today we're going to talk about our favorite everyday single barrels that are available. Give or take one or two of them. Yeah. I think one's a joke. Mm, yeah, but you all request it a lot, so that's why we're adding it to the list. There we go. Welcome back to another edition of Bourbon Kingdom. I'm David. And I'm Zach. And today we're going to talk ourselves through <laughs> the best available single barrels out there on the market right now. So we did and this. The key word is available. Yeah. So this is, we did this last year. You all really liked it. You all had some suggestions on what we should add to the list. So you know what? We're gonna add. We're gonna add maybe one or two. Yeah. Um, but what's crazy is like small batches, bottle and bond. Those change a lot. They do. Like they really do change a lot from what we would add here and there. You know, there's not a lot of stock single barrel yeah. like stuff. That's what's wild. Like the more I was looking into, I'm like. There's just really not a ton of it. Uh, what I love is that you all are going to give us a bunch of things that you like, which will mm -hmm. help us kind of maybe even expand our repertoire in, yeah. in some ways. So, so please put in the comments below yeah. if we miss some single barrels, if you're debating, because we're actually going to ask you guys some questions while we're in here, because something else that we're going to, well, I'll talk about it here in a second, but go ahead and put them in the comments below, hit that like, subscribe, notifications button. So before we start, um, I do want to say we're going to do something different this year where we're actually going to, after this video, so we'll probably drop this on Tuesday, on our Thursday video, what we're going to do, we're going to blind all of these and we're going to see which ones are our favorite. Yep. So. Should be fun. The episode's brought to you by Z Biotics. So, look, you've been in the game long enough here on the old whiskey tube. If you haven't heard, let us tell you about our great friends over at Z Biotics and how they've totally changed the game for us personally, and they will for you as well. Z-Biotics Pre-Alcohol Probiotic is the world's first genetically engineered probiotic. It was invented by PhD scientists to help you feel better in the morning after drinking. Here's how it works. When you drink, alcohol gets converted into a toxic byproduct in the gut. It's this byproduct, not dehydration, that's to blame for your rough next day. Z-Biotics produces an enzyme to break, down, to break this byproduct down. Just remember to make Z-Biotics your first drink of the night. Drink responsibly, and you'll feel your best tomorrow. So this past month, we went to an event that we helped host up in Seymour, Indiana. Yeah. And it was a great event. They did. It was a wonderful event because we helped host it. <laughs> we just helped do a little bit of speaking, stuff like that. But it was honestly, they the guys, Jordan and Brian, did a great job. Yeah, it was it. awesome. But I'm going to be honest with you. I'm so happy that we took some z beforehand because we drank a lot more than what I thought we were going to drink that I, night. I know. I was surprised, A lot too. more. And it really helped because we left out early that next morning. Like, yeah. hitting the road early, didn't miss a beat at all. Yeah. Really, honestly grateful for that. Again, z has just really changed the game for us. And, guys, it's super easy. All you have to do is, before you go out for the night, take one of these, take a big glass of water, and you're good to go for the next day. All right, so go to zbotics.com slash bourbon kingdom or scan the QR code somewhere over Dave's face on the screen right now to get 15% off your first order when you use bourbon kingdom at checkout. You can also sign up for a subscription using our uh, code. So uh, you can stay prepared for any occasion, no matter when it happens. Zbotics is backed by 100% money back guarantee. So if you're unsatisfied for any reason, they'll run refund you your money. No questions asked. Remember, go to zbotics.com slash bourbon kingdom and use our code bourbon kingdom at checkout to get 15% off your first order. And just honestly, guys, just thank you so much, Zbotics. Thank you. This has been a huge game changer for us, not only just doing just our weekly videos, but doing events and everything else. We're so grateful for you. Yep. Guys. Thank Thanks you. for sponsoring our episodes and our good times. Yeah, except for one of them. <laughs> Nothing like drinking 11 samples of bourbon. Yeah, roughly. All right, so let's just start it. First one, Four Roses, single barrel. It's a good place to start. I think it's super solid. It's probably the most underrated bottle on this list, if I'm just looking through everything right now. 
it gets I, for whatever reason four roses does not get the love and the respect that they should that is, get that is true but it's i mean it's just it's old reliable i always I, I agree with that i think uh these are reliable this uh, this isn't my favorite for four roses product but from it's from a single barrel perspective no. like this is just no, usually barrel strength yeah it's usually consistent yeah no, uh, i agree which i like yeah so absolutely i'll slide them to you okay all right and i'm gonna argue saying that this is the best one on the list maybe second best one on the list is the Baker's single barrel. The nice thing about this is most of these are older. This one's eight years, yeah. uh, one month. But these, again, totally get slept on. These are fantastic. These are great. Um, 107 proof. It just it comes from a really nice legacy distillery that people, again, don't give enough credit to. And I just think it's fantastic. Yeah, I, I do think this one's sneaky good. Yeah. Um, I would argue top two on the list. Yeah, maybe. Maybe I'm a little biased. Maybe I put it two or three, because there's another one on there that I... Two or... Actually, maybe four. I don't know. We'll see how that goes. But yes, generally speaking, this is one of the better, to me, available bean products that yeah. comes out. So Agreed. Next one. Now this one won't be able to make the list probably roughly by next year, maybe maybe a year down the road, who knows. The Evan Williams Single Barrel. So again, this used to be such a great staple. It's taken a little bit of a hit because A, it's going to a Kentucky exclusive. Yeah. And then B, it went from $30 to $50. It's about $50, yeah little more than what I want to pay. It's still really great quality. It is really good quality. I hate it that it's $50 because I feel like Evan Williams did such a good job of putting this in people's hands at mm -hmm. like, like really good quality in people's hands for 25 to 35 bucks. Yep. And it's still really good quality at 50, but for those of us who remember it being 25 or 30, it's like, ew. I mean. I used to have two or three of these at a time. I now have, I'm almost out of one, and then I have a spare. That's it. I don't, I, I only, I'm almost done and keeping one not open just because I'm going to save it since it's so much money now. Not, I, and not so much money, but relative to what it used to be. So I, I agree, but I do think it's really, really good. Oh, and the, the other cool thing is like, you know, everybody searches for Blantons. Everybody searches for that kind of stuff. This is another one of those bottles. If you don't know uh, from a single barrel standpoint, it has a bottle date. Uh, and yeah, so you, yeah, sure. and so, if you're looking for one of those, maybe not. Maybe Blantons doesn't <laughs> dump on the day that you need it to dump. You might find one here. Like this one's 5, 6, 21. So mm -hmm. uh, not significant for anybody here, but it could be significant at some point. So just one of those things to like keep in mind with that talking about blanton's we'll just keep it in the buffalo Trace family of course we're not gonna add blanton's to the list benchmark single barrel um i okay so i think there's a big debate on which one's the best bench benchmark i think most people prefer the single barrel i like the foolproof more i just do like i don't know what else to say to it but it's fine the single barrel the, or the, the foolproof both of them, they're fine. Yeah, uh, these aren't either one of my favorites, but w when you're you're needing bottles to put in a single barrel uh, <laughs> thing, like that's like this is one of them. It's not uh, watch this win for Dave. <laughs> it might <laughs> that'd be hilarious. <laughs> this isn't one of my favorites, but that's okay. Like I mean, that's why you have variety. Uh, but I still think it should stand up here because of the quality that it is and the price that it is. So. All right, let's just go to one of Dave's favorites then. John J. Bowman Single Barrel. Um, if you've been at this channel at all, you know my love for the John J. Bowman. I just think that everything about this is really good, and I've not, I've not had one that I don't like in the Single Barrel. Like, I've not had one that is, is not good. Some yeah. are better than others. I have a, a couple of really, really good ones. I have a... 
a single barrel store pick from Liquor Barn that's really, really good. That is really good. Uh, I agree. So, John J. Bowman, A. Smith Bowman, Bowman, whatever you want to do. If you want to have us out to Virginia to do a barrel pick, we'd love to do one. One of these times, it's going to work. I promise you, it's going to work. I don't know on who, but it's going to be somebody. Uh, <laughs> this bottle, let me say this. I understand this bottle is very hard to find. This bottle is still findable. Yeah, it is um, findable. I judge everything on these bottles, guys. I'm just telling you right now, because there's a couple. This is one of them. If I can still find it in the Kentucky market or Southern Indiana market. Yeah. Like, those are the two markets I judged off of. I understand not all these markets you're going to be able to find stuff in. Yeah. Apologies. Yeah, some of you but, are like Florida doesn't see anything. But actually, I think Florida does pretty good. I forget the state does not do really good. I don't know if it's like North Dakota or Wisconsin or I'm whatever. not sure. Um, all right, next one. And there might be a little controversy around this one, but hear me out. Henry McKenna tenure. All right. I understand at one point in time you couldn't find these. These were very sought after, blah, 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 blah. They're sitting on shelves and in case stacks. They are. At this point for us around here. And I understand that's maybe not everybody, but my point is, is that eventually, if it's gonna happen here, it's gonna happen most places, or you're gonna see these more often. It's definitely not allocated here anymore. I I just, I don't, yeah, I don't think it is. Um, so anyway, so Henry McKenna, haven't been the biggest fans of it, um, but with that said, you guys are. You guys do tend to love it. And I have had some that are pretty good. Yeah. Overall, they are not my favorite. But 10 year age statement, great track record of doing really awesome in events. I feel like it needs to be on the list. Yeah. And again, this one's a lot like the Evan Williams single barrel when it was $35. Something like that, yeah. Uh, to buy one, maybe 40 it is now mm -hmm. 60 I think it's 55 to 60 bucks. Just depending 65, on what it is. 65, depending on where you what, Yeah, wh whatever it is. Uh, it has jumped in price again. I mean, it's... It's, it's still not a terrible price, but at the no, same time, it's, not, it's just we knew what it was beforehand. Yeah, it's it's that whole, you know, we know what it was. Yeah. So it makes it that much more disheartening to want to get it. <laughs> The old Russell's single barrel. Yeah, no, this is just a stock pick. This is not a actual store pick. So just want to make Correct. sure that's in mind. Yeah, this is just the standard single barrel. Mm -hmm. These are, uh, again, these are really good too. I, I feel Great. like all the wild turkey mm -hmm. Russell's have a tendency to be really good. They, uh, I think they s just ooze traditional uh, wild turkey. and. I totally agree. The only thing that I dislike about this bottle now, and I hate that I even say I dislike anything about this bottle, is the price. Yeah. Prices went up. We all know all these, you know, a lot of the wild turkey products have went up in price. It sucks. But honestly, that's the only bad thing to say about it. These, yeah. these are great bottles. I, I feel like that. we've been saying that about most bottles, uh, but that's just kind of bourbon as it mm -hmm. is now. So. so kind of, I think my dark horse for Dave's favorite bottle on the list it's not my favorite. Oh, I thought it would be. No, the John Jay is probably my favorite. Yeah, it's probably fair. But uh, this one is a close second. Knob Creek Single Barrel Cast Strength. So this is one of the few that is an actual cast strength barrel proof, blah, 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 blah. Honestly, I, so I agree that these kind of get forgotten about. They do. With that being said, I still like the nine year more. This is really close. These are really good. Yes, but this is a good price too. Yeah, how much is it? Uh, at forty something bucks. I was gonna say it's like forty bucks or something. Yeah. Put in the comments below if you all know, but I think it's like around forty. Yeah, for sure. All right, last three, and I'm gonna put two of them out here, and we're gonna talk about it because I just legitimately want to know everybody's thoughts on this. So this is Jack Daniel single barrel. It's like just standard everyday single barrel, and then this is Jack Daniels barrel proof single barrel. I, and by the way, I think this is like, yeah, this is a 130. We haven't seen a whole lot of 130s around here. Mm -hmm. So here's my opinion on this. I, we've been seeing more of these yes. lately. It's still not readily available. This is always readily available. Always available. 
I want to hear your all's comments, so please put in the comments below if you all can find this on the regular. And if there's more people that say they can find this on the regular, then we will put that in our big blind. If not, if you're if you're only finding this one, not really so much seeing this one, we'll just keep we'll, we'll just, just keep that, that one. Yeah. But we are starting to see more of it, but it's not in every store. It's not yeah. It, it's not everywhere, but we are seeing more of this. Also, I kind of want to crack open the 130 and just see how it blows away the competition uh you all know our love for jack daniels love both it. of these are really good love it uh they are what they are uh get them put them on your bar they're all good it's awesome last one this is kind of like a viewer's thing from previous videos we've talked about because this is definitely not one of our favorites and honestly it's probably our least favorite the old dickle 15 year single barrel I'm trying. I'm looking to see which one is my least favorite of this. It has to be this one. It's probably that. It one. has to be this one. I don't like it. But with that being said, you guys keep saying we should do it. We should do it. We should. Do it. So we're gonna put this in the blind. We are gonna put it in the blind. And I watch it not finish last. It probably won't finish last. I'll be so disappointed if it does, or if it doesn't. Um, but but from just, smell alone, I will smell okay. that and probably know that it's last. Yeah, it, and this is a lower proof one. Yeah, this is like 128. So it's going to match a lot of the other single barrels there. So I'm going to be really interested in how this yeah. does in the blind. This is kind of our extra one. I'm just throwing it in there mostly because of you guys. But the rest of them, I stand behind totally about them being the best single barrels pretty much on the market. That and we pander to our crowd. So we put this in there for you. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks a lot, guys. So anyways, go ahead and hit the comments uh, below. Let us know what's your favorite or let us know the Jack Daniels we should pick. Hit that like, subscribe, notifications button. And until next time, we will see you. We'll see you.